And I'm all fattened up now. Here's a question. An important question. Uh... I guess I can save. The question is, can a horse swim? Also, can I swim? Also, is this deep? It's too deep here. It's too deep here. Oh. That looks like good function as a crossing. Yeah, there's a bunch of rocks over here. Well, I suppose that's problem solved. Vranic Forest. Let's see if I can get back up to a road or something. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. This will like me lead me where I'm going. Or it'll turn left. So that my goal is now off the screen. That's a good sign. Still, I want to follow roads to see if anything interesting shows up. It'll hopefully curve back. Yeah, it is. I think we're still inching in the right way. Could check the map. Hmm. Kind of roundabout. Might wrap back around, though. Oh, sorry. Checking the map is not actually a break, because time pauses. Are you a bandit? Nope. Excuse me. Never know what's, what they're going to look like until they pop in. Oh yeah, it's turning back towards the, the city now. And away again. You discovered Vranic Woods again! You did it twice! It's like America. A country so great we discovered it twice. I have no idea where I am. Okay, that's like genuinely going the wrong way at this point. I kind of thought it might work back around. It's fine, we're just going off-road and... It's roughing it. Horses were made for off-road, technically. Because they're animals. Yeah. Oh boy, can I go through that? Oh god. Um, everything's fine. We'll just slow down a second. <laughs> that would have destroyed me if I was- if this was real. The sheer amount of, like, plant matter that I would have been eating at that point? Holy crap. Fast travel point? What is it? Vranic. Oh. There's like a cut down chunk of the area that counts as a fast travel point. I'm surprised that that tree branch didn't take me off like that one time that I rode into the building. That's the one impassable one. Found it. Oh boy, that's why. It's fine. I can make it work. I believe in me. <sighs> okay. It's getting a little steep now. That's a little worrying. So that's some place called Vranic. There was a front door and everything. Maybe I'll check that place out again sometime, but that's not where I'm currently looking for. Maybe I'll check it on the way back, depending on what time of day it is. It's still basically noon. Wow, we will die if we go off that ledge. 
I just need to find a drainage. If I can find a proper spot where the water drains down, there'll be, there'll be a more useful connection. Those interested in work will be waiting during the day in the courtyard. Okay. He's apparently finished that. Sasau. Horse is fine. Didn't murder him or anything. With my off-roading, everything's fine. Don't tell anyone that I mistreated my horse. Don't- oh, quarry. Especially don't tell, uh, the- that female protagonist character- not protagonist. No, no one tell that one girl from Zel from Twilight Princess that I've been mistreating my horse. She doesn't need to know. I don't need bridges. Massively overrated. Hey, the gallows. Ooh. This is like a whole town in its own right, huh? That's the monastery. But not necessarily where the right one for me. Oh, this place looks extensive. Which way is the entrance of this place? Kind of unclear on the map. Maybe over here. There we go. Yeah, it's in, is it, the entrance is in the direction that's least illustratable on a map. No, I don't want to break in. I want to say hi. Oh, here we go. Oops, I summoned my horse into a church. No, no, but don't tell anyone. Father, when do you plan to return to St. James? I beg your pardon? Why do you ask, my boy? Your housekeeper, Agnes, is in Ratai, and doesn't want to work for anyone else. She's waiting for your return. So she survived? Thank the Lord. I prayed for her and all who suffered, but I'm not going back. Tell her I appreciate her concern, but to look out for herself now. Alright, that went roughly how I thought it might go. Is either going to be that or he dies. Or was dead already. So tell Agnes that the father won't be coming back. Which uh, is a charitable way of saying you're fired. Yeah. While I'm here, I should see if there's a bookstore. Especially if they have books that'll like let me train. That was fast. Hello. So that's the one I've read before, but those are all new. Wenceslas the Fourth, Ratai, Maiden's War. The fact that these books are about stuff that's actually around me makes me wonder if, like, the information might be specifically... Like, what if you read about a book about Ratai, and then you have a Ratai-specific dialogue somewhere in the game? Like, how cool would that be? It looked away. Wow, that was... That was shockingly convenient. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to get these books around here? Then literally, like, they- everyone walks outside and leaves the moment I was like, hmm. And, uh, that- wow. That- that was amazing. I was like, huh, I wonder if I can find a, a bookstore or something like that. And I immediately, like, turn left and there's a scribe. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can get these books. And then everyone leaves the room and closes the door behind them. And I'm like, all right. I mean, obviously, if I if I were to if I'm role playing, if I were to role play like 
in universe the way that half these people uh, think, I would think that's a sign of God, obviously. And what else could I think? It, what did I, how else could I possibly process that information? An artisan. Good health to you. What exactly does an artisan trade? Yeah? Bunch of pieces of equipment. Expensive equipment! I look at this plate pauldrons, I'm like, ooh, look at that! It's obviously gonna be... It's heavy, it's six. But, like, noticeable spike of, uh, all forms of armor there. Makes you less conspicuous and less noisy, it's just fantastic gear. Generally speaking, your numbers just go. Yeah, I have. I, it's eighteen, eighteen, seven, and it goes to twenty nine, twenty nine, twelve. Huge spike of arm of arm armor. There's shields. I died pauldrons. Everything's expensive here. I know where I'm coming when I got a bunch of money. Apparently, and I want to get like a proper set of armor. Get those numbers up and scary. Alright, so don't have to worry about running out of stuff to spend money on. He's also quite rich, isn't he? 2.5k. That means I should talk to my horse and get all of his armor off and see if I can sell some of that off. But I've got all this crap I don't know how to get rid of. Let's, uh, sort by whether I'm wearing it or not, so I can not sell the stuff I'm wearing. This stuff is not going to be worth much. But collectively, I should be able to do something with it. There we go. You will get 351. Not negligible, maybe I'll do a trade for something that's upgrade for me. Like a Gapeson that looks better for me, or... That's a bit much. Let's see, my price range is like 800, but realistically I should probably stay lower than that so I don't just straight up kneecap myself. 5, 7, 10. Just slightly lower. I mean, the Gapesons are like 100. It's only weapons or shields, which I don't necessarily need a, a different shield. They'd fit the setting better, perhaps, but I don't, it's not my best motivation right now. That's a huge spike of defense, but only for leg. A proper helm. Not a huge spike, for, not a huge step forward, though. It seems like my current helm's not, not bad. My body armor's garbage, though. Oh, this would fit into a slot I'm not even using yet. Get some proper chainmail. Huge spike in body armor stat. Common plate chassis. That replaces two of the slots. Let's get that and the chainmail. Haggle. Can we do something about the price? Why not? <laughs> He's like, get the fuck out of my face. How dare you? How dare you? I have trouble interpreting this sometimes. Right now, I, I should have double-checked from the screen. Right now, I'm supposed to be paying him, right? Yeah, so if, I'm, if I... I'd be talking him down in price, because right now... Yeah, okay. I have to figure out what direction we're going in sometimes. See, now I knew we'd come to an agreement. Okay, so I just paid him less, right? So that's instead of the boots, right?
Yeah. Which means I can sell both of those off now. I'm actually wearing some damn armor now. That still leaves me in the 400 range. That would replace the chain mail, so uh, that's massively expensive too. Should I get something for the... let's try arms and gloves. Something like that. Uh, this stuff gets expensive really fast. If I'm looking at, looking at any of the stuff that's actually an upgrade compared to what I have right now. There is so much to process. Let's just sell. Let's have a word about the price. Mm, all right, so. I am murdering my reputation at this point, aren't I? Satisfied? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less, and I'll be satisfied. Finally, a reasonable sum. Am I doing a good job? <laughs> Alright, so am I overburdened is the important thing to check, which I should have checked already. I am not. And I'm armored more than ever. Got some numbers going on there. A lot of the things in there will drastically decrease my speed, which I should probably be more worried about. Uh, I'm going to have to go up and down both sides to see what the other places are. A trader, which is a catch-all, which means I don't really know what they're going to offer. Hello. How do you do? Good day to you. What do you need? I need... I don't know, maybe books, if you got those? Yeah, I probably don't want this guy's kind of weapons. He has some food. Not something I'm interested in. I really am giving a huge priority for books. I'm just really interested in that stat. You don't often get the option to read in order to increase your stats, generally in video games. Uh, sometimes they're skill books, but it's very like direct, like, oh, I found the book, there you go. The, uh, the, the process of actually literally reading is interesting. Especially when you have the books that you have to like spend time on. Like that's a whole new thing. So I, I, the good news is I've learned where the actual baths are. I think that was the, the some of the point of Capon's quests is like, here's how you hunt. Here's how you get into a bar fight. Here is how you uh, use the bathhouse, which is what you do if you actually want to get better as an individual as opposed to uh, what I was doing before. Is he running away? Right. Oh, that's the, that's the thief. Okay. I wasn't sure which one which one was the thief. I'm like, is that just the merchant chasing someone? I am gonna get you. You're being a naughty. Turns out you're a lot harder to catch when I've been wearing full armor, but not hard enough to catch. Ha! Oops, that's the wrong button. There we go. You want to do this? You You chose poorly. <laughs> you showed him. And did you get the loot back? No. He had nothing on him. Nothing? How come? He must have dropped it or passed it to an accomplice. The devious bastards. Ahem. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Uh, well, he's right there. Hey, look, it's the Groshen. I found it. <laughs> are, you, wait, are you leaving town? Right, shouldn't you go back to town instead of leaving? Is someone there? What the fuck? That was weird. 
I think you're supposed to have a conversation with him where you figure out how to get the how to get the uh, the money off of him that he stole. But I th I think what happened is the guy that was chasing him like automatically started the dialogue, but the moment the fight was over, and so like I had to just l basically lie to him saying he didn't have money on him because he talked to me before I got a chance to actually talk to the guy that actually stole the money. Just watching these systems interact with each other can be strange sometimes. Whoop! Well, that's one side of the town. Here's the tavern. Right around where you'd expect it to be. Maybe I will chill down for a moment and read. Still got a lot of time to go for what I was hoping for. That's the map. Goofing it. I'm in a whole different town. Probably about time, right? Let's learn about Ratai. It's the place we're actually hanging out in, right? <laughs> Ratai. Nigh 500 years have passed since the appearance of a walled settlement, which later grew into a castle guarding the borders of the land of the Zlikans and its main trade route, and even later it bloomed into a town which, however, 150 years ago burned to the ground and was built anew in even more beautiful form, with strong walls that not even Kutnahora or Prague need be ashamed of. The fortified town of Ratai felt under the fell into the possession of the king and was granted as a fiefdom, and during the reign of John of Luxembourg it fell under the rule of Lord Henry of Lipa, who then had built a lower castle that they called Perkstein. Today, Ratai is under the administration of Hanush until young Lord Capon of Lipa reaches adulthood and unto him shall be granted the whole town and its surrounding estates as a fiefdom. In Ratai, all manners of tradesmen flourish, Butchers, smiths, tailors, weavers, and armorers, and great markets are held here every month. Ratai is an administrative center, and thus can... Uh, it's really distracting me how the font looks like it's vibrating. Can you guys see that? It's uh, Ratai is an administrative center, and thus can afford to employ its own executioner and support a strong municipal garrison. Its large stone church is consecrated to St. Matthew. That's a very wasteful page right there. Level 5 at reading. Didn't really check my progress beforehand. Move that to the horse. Move that to the horse. Do I have dupes at the moment? I don't think I have any duplicate books yet. They're all quite stolen. No, I have two copies of The Groom and the Apprentice. That's it, though. Everything else is pretty unique. And I'm going to get through all of them. Because they give me experience. And might learn me a bit about the setting, but they're really brief. Ah, yes, the pretzel man who makes pretzels and absolutely nothing else. Definitely not a variety of similar goods. There's the grocer. I don't think we're going to get a lot of use for my book needs. The tailor. Do you also never open? Oh, the door's open. I'm even allowed inside. Good health to you, sir. He actually sells tailoring clothing. Look at this. You can get a blacksmith's apron if you want to look like a lunatic, I guess. Like you're a murderer. Yay! Whoa, that's a variety. That is a variety. Fancy shirt. Uh, do any of these actually affect my... Ooh. That's a spike of charisma right there. A green out of vest. What's the single biggest charisma hike I can get from any item in this entire place? Noble's yellow hood. That's expensive. 
red outer jacket. I like green better, I think. Did I see a seven? I saw a seven. Yellow combat jupon. God damn. You can go way up in the charisma if you want. I find it interesting that this is a separate, an entirely separate thing that you can consider compared to the previous stuff with the, uh, um, like you can go old combat suit or you can go like dress, dress to impress and stuff like that. And those are two separate things to look into. That one's one point. Damn. I mean, it is good, but it's good for my armor too, to be fair. It's, it's better than what's currently like, yeah, it replaces the part of my equipment that's basically just to the, uh, the, the tarp you put over everything, but it gives me more defense. But not cheap. Not cheap at all. A giant list of items, too. Decorated kaftan. Would not mind it if they would just, if you could categorize some of the stuff a little bit more. All right, so that'll get me to six. Which is, but the uh, kaftan I saw will get me to six for 178. It's a bit cheaper, but it kind of looks silly. I do kind of like the vest. <laughs> kind of, I might get it just for that purpose. Let's get some pants. Pants that would affect my, out my, appearance. There's also ha Nobleman's Hats. Look at that. Look at that. That's 1.2k. That's really... Oh my god, that's expensive. Never mind. It only gives me one more Charisma, too. Yeah, do like a really basic... Basic hat, right? This is gonna get expensive really fast. Do you have, like, pants that go with green? What's a coat? This for women? They must be, yeah. But I can't wear those. And that's this entire that's all that's the entire bottom chunk. Can I find legging type stuff I can actually wear? This fashionable green hose. It might be unnecessary. I kind of already have pants. I might just stick with those. Even the noble pants aren't worth anything. No one cares about your pants in this universe. Let's haggle. I'm not crazy. Gotta be careful about how much I'm spending here. Which is why I'm spending all of my money. Satisfied? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Oop. He's charging up his fireball. Finally! A reasonable sum. All right, well, that lost me a lot of money. But I kind of found the stuff I was hoping to find, so I'm cool with that. Let's dress up like we're meant to impress or something. I was just alternating everything I'm currently wearing, basically. Oop, getting more for having this... Oh, I didn't have the vest on. And the hat's not on. Was anything being worn? Okay. Would anything increase my charisma right now? Not really. Even the ring? Do I need to put pants on? There we go. I actually sold my boots, so I don't have shoes to wear. I didn't really think about that. <laughs> That's what I look like? Just like, just gonna wear these, uh... Just gonna wear the chassis over my pants, like a lunatic. All right, well, I mean, I look like a person, kind of. Didn't really revolutionize my fa my fame level or anything, but at least when I talk to somebody, I look like a person now. Can I talk to you to, as a demo? How are you, Henry? Right there. 
May you rot there. They're not, they're not pleased with that. Charlatan. Huh. I know you. I know you from somewhere. Where do I know you from? What? Of course, my dream. You were in a boat made of bone, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. All right. Tell me about this dream of yours. That dream? Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice. My own pupil in the trade of miracle. Oh, then I'm in luck. On the contrary, I'm the lucky one. What's your name, young man? Oh. Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? First, tell me, who are you? And what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of Providence. Scholar or merchant? Believer or, or heathen? I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon. Providing the miracles that people need. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs, rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. What exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? Oh, a lot of work and strenuous labour. Knowledge of medicine, theology and white magic. You have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them and learn to read their souls. Nothing to it. That's why God has sent you. So what do you say? <laughs> All right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful! Oh, glorious day! I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. But just so we're clear, I'm not stealing anything for you. Who said anything about stealing? You said these are valuable things you're after. I don't suppose you can just pick them up anywhere. Valuable for me, because I know their power and strength. For an ordinary mortal, they barely mean anything. Oh. Well, that's fine, then. First, I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. Or luck. I'm a passionate player. Look at yell. That's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. About that tooth, it's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery, and it just so happens thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I've found out he has a sick tooth. How did he find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happened, he told me at the tavern. But that's not important. And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Wouldn't that be swindling people? It is, and it isn't. If I sell that tooth as the tooth of St. Procopius, then it certainly is deceitful. But if I sell it as a tooth from Procopius of Sasso, 
then I'm cheating nobody. Does it really matter whose tooth I bring, then? Of course it does. The name Procopius in this holy land is shrouded with mystical power. Sometimes I might play a trivial trick on someone, but I assure you, I'm no swindler. Fine. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. I'll get looking for those things, then. Excellent. You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. Game saved? The game saves before you buy things from him? Silence is golden and other myths. <laughs> and other myths? Oh, a skill book on speech can only be achieved right after achieving level 5. Neat. I want that, but it's on his character, which means I can't... It's gonna be harder to get. I need more. I need money again. And I'm short on money. Unless I get rid of just a little bit of it. Probably should just come back later for that one. But I want skill books. Alright. Let's focus on that first. I can talk to him about the other two things afterwards. This seems like it's gonna be an entertaining little quest chain. But I, I don't want to overload with information. 